Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan Carter Nolan is behind the camera. Once again. Also, by the way, go check out some of his CFL coverage because it's going pretty well. Yep. Now, we're what? We're going to wrap that up a little bit. Now, we wish we'd got this earlier. However, I worked during the day. Carter worked during the night, so it really screwed up our schedules, but we finally got time. We have re-signed Neil Pionk for four years at $5.85 million. And I like this contract. And I'll explain why. In a world where Zach Wierenski and Seth Jones demand $9.5 million, it is nice to see some common decency prevail. And also, this forces us to not have to go to arbitration. It was signed before arbitration happened. This was not a result of the arbitration. This was being avoided by the arbitration. Um, so, that only leaves left Andrew Kopp, who... I just feel like, honestly, we're going to end up going to arbitration again. We've done it two times already. Third time's a charm, right? So, here's a couple things I like about this deal, a couple things I'm worried about in this deal, and honestly, where we go from here. So, I like the price. The price is a little under $6 million, and honestly, in the market in terms of defensemen, that is very good. A lot of defensemen have to, are going, because of their name value, are generating a lot more from the market. Wierenski, for example, is even a guy who doesn't even have a lot of name value in comparison to his counterpart, Jet Seth Jones, still got nine and a half mil. Um, then we have Kale McCarr, who deserves his $9 million parries. Heiskanen deserves eight and a half mil for sure. Uh, Nurse deserves nine mil after the year he had, but they shouldn't have paid him this year. We've been over that, though. Ken Holland, you idiot. For example, though, guys like Tyson Berry only got four mil. It, it's it's very, I think 4.5. I could be a little off there. Pellick only got about five and a half, five, five point eight around this deal, honestly. Uh, Dougie Hamilton got nine. I like this deal's this deal's price because it's affordable. And people are saying it's over it's an overpayment. That is absolutely garbage. Here's the things that you need to know about Neil Pionk. He's an American player who plays for a Canadian team that is not talked about a lot in the news. That is why he is not making names. For example, it took Jeff Petrie having a Norris candidate-worthy season for people even to talk about him. Jeff Petrie is an American defenseman playing for a Canadian team that is that was pretty solid even up until last season. It was just last season where he was excelling in the role. Neil Pionk plays on a team that is known for their offensive power and known for their defensive woes. Therefore, he kind of just flew under the radar in that regard. He is our best defenseman, and this isn't even a comparison. And just because Josh Morrissey plays first power play units does not mean that Neil, Neil Pionk is, is lesser than him on the power play. Neil Pionk's power play minutes are, are, like numbers, analytics, are insanely high. One of the best in the league, and I'm not even kidding there. For a time, it was John Klingberg, I believe, actually was top, and then it was him, and that was it. Like, it was, he's top 10 to top 5. He obviously has done amazing since being traded here, um, setting the record for uh, points by an, a defenseman, I believe, on the power play. Um, he's an offensive defenseman who has been able to play shutdown minutes. He's been matched up against guys like Mitch Marner with mixed results, and guys like Austin, uh, not Austin, well, Austin Matthews as well, Connor McDavid. and Connor McDavid, who he shot down in the series against Edmonton. Now, there's a couple other things to get take from this. Um, I am, I'm thinking the name value really helped us in this regard too, because it meant that he couldn't demand a lot more, even, especially being an RFA. After all, he couldn't say he was owed that much more because people weren't really talking about him as much as they should have been. Um, but this is good bang for your buck, honestly, especially in comparison to the wider market that we are finding out has an ungodly ceiling. Now, what is the one thing I am concerned about this? Four years. Now, I understand. I understand. I know. <coughs> we can't have super long contracts. I get that. That makes sense. Four years. I guess I'm, I'm just curious because this will take him into UFA status. And this kind of proves my theory. Jets fans, we have three to four years left. That's our window. Then our window's done. Because Shifley's contract goes up around there. Ehler's contract goes up along there. Pretty much all of the major contract, Hellebucks, goes up around there. Most of the guys who we have signed there go up. Their contract ends there. So after that, there's going to be a gigantic reshuffling. Obviously, we don't have to worry about that now. But I like to always think about the future and think. Think about where it will go. The four years could be good. 
I, I think honestly a longer term for Neil Pionk would have been wouldn't even have been that high of a risk because Neil Pionk has not shown any downsides significant to his gameplay. No hindering. No hindering whatsoever. This isn't like a like he hasn't been injury prone. He has not had declines in his performance due to injuries or any other things like Josh Morrissey. Josh Morrissey is not necessarily injury prone now, but he's not where he used to be. He used to be projected, for example, to be for Team Canada. And I'm going to be honest, I never bought into that hype. I, I thought Josh Morrissey looked fine, but he never looked stellar. Oh, but anyway, back to Neil Pionk. I just think this is a great signing, and I think... I'm curious to see what Cobb asks. It, it gives me this weird feeling in the back of my head that I'm going to think it's an overpayment for Cobb, and I'm scared that they're going to... Give Cop six years, and uh, no, no, no. I like Andrew Cop, but don't keep him for six years. But we'll see, we'll see. Thanks for watching, by the way. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 550. Check out some of our other stuff, like the Prairie Puck Podcast, where we had urinating tree. Yes, that urinating tree on the Yinzer, the Yinzer himself. And uh, check out some of our other videos, like our Jets fan reactions. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts on this deal, your thoughts on this video, your thoughts on anything, even the weather. I don't care. Let us know, because we love to talk to you guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.